All right then, hello everyone, and this is us uh, doing uh, more Magic the Gathering set explorations. This time at Cloud's Request, we are doing Dominaria, the uh, 2018 uh, set that predates our court, uh, 2019 set. Or is it? Is it after? I think it predates. Yeah. Because it took 25 years to get decent equip synergy among creatures and their equipments. <laughs> uh. Not really. I mean, cer uh, certain uh, uh, tri uh, certain tribes have actually got really great equipment synergy. Like Core, Core has got super good equipment synergy. Well, Core ought to remind us that behind every enhancement, there is an enhanced creature. Mm, kind of, sorta. Anyway, are we ready? Yes, sir. All right then. Let's begin. We. I am running roll. green black. Uh, so there. I'm running green and red. Ha ha. Ah. This seems we both found use of green and probably removal options. You rolled a higher number. All right, and I will go first. Good luck. Um, I am, yeah, I'm going to mulligan. I am going to keep this hand. Ha ha. And... Yeah, I'll keep from here. Um, Alright, my move. Um, the, your move. <laughs> yes. Hot potato. Mm. Alright, I'm going to start with a woodland cemetery. Nice. And I will end. <laughs> the double lands. I see that our choices also are influenced by a rather small pool of options. So there. Because I made, my original build was going for green, red, and white. But getting those ca particular cards out was a nightmare. I played another Woodland Cemetery and I'm going to end. end. Oh boy. He's going for the options, 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 options. I will tap two, he said, and play an Elfheim Druid. Okay, then. Let the mana ramp build. Mm. Mm, Alright, so I'm going to put down a forest, and then I'm going to spend three green in order to cast a Steel Leaf Champion. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Well then, my old friend, it's like, a, it's like I'm seeing Doubler. I am going to tap three to cast Marwyn the Nurturer. Okay, then. So she is the elves. Sort of. They're the cool elves. Unfortunately, I'm going to take five to the fucking face now. Because I can't block that guy. Mm. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to put down a forest. Um, I'm going to pay one black in order to cast Fungal Infection. Ah, uh, uh, ha, ha. Well, it looks like you, have ju you had successfully taken on my own first and early strategy idea for this set. The Sapperlings are very heavily supported in Dominaria. Oh, yes. We love Sapperlings. All of us do. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to swing at you for five. And then I have to take five, for I have no options to block with punies. See, I knew, I knew this was going to be a swinger danger. One of us is going to end this game quickly. All right, and I will end. Oh, but you, you think you're the only one who had one one creatures in mind. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm going to put a mountain down. Uh, and then I am going to pay four, these four, to be precise, to play Radiating Lightning. Alright. First, deal three damage to target opponent. That opponent is you! And then deal one damage to each creature you control. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Next. I am going to tap my basically useless druid to put down a short sword. Okay, then. Mm. 
Mm. All right then. Let's uh, put down. Um, we're gonna play a memorial to Folly, and uh -huh. then we're gonna spend three in order to cast Slimefoot the Stowaway. Ah, uh, Slimefoot. It seems that he has been a bit spurned that I decided to take him out of my deck. All right, and I'll swing at you for seven. Yes, you do. I can't block it, because all of my eligible blockers are tapped and or too small to even see right. Mm. All right, and I will end. Okay. This is a pivotal game moment, because if I do nothing or just continue to get man for days, I will probably lose this game. So, yeah, I see you got one blocker right now. That's all right, because I got, I got a little last-minute magic. I'm going to pay three to cast Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. Okay. I am going to equip Valduk with Short Sword. By, not by overlapping him, but by using the actual Attach the Card button, as I should be. Now, Yay! I'm going to go into my combat step at the beginning of combat. Valduk creates a 3-1 elemental creature token with trample and haste equal to the number of equipments and auras attached to him. Mm -hmm. And I also must exile those tokens at the beginning of the next end step. So, I am fucked. But Valduk is a 4-2, so I'm going to reflect that not by putting tokens on him, but by modifying his power and toughness. Hell yeah. I will swing at you. With a 3-1 elemental with trample and haste. Mm -hmm. And I will not block. I see. Alright, so we have concluded combat. I'm in my second main phase. Hmm. Well, Valduk has answers for your Steel Leaf champion. Because Valduk bows to no one. But I wonder if I have enough blockers to actually survive until my next turn. Um, I guess I do. So I'm going to pay two. And I'm going to cast a Jousting Lance. All right. I can't equip it right now, so I'm just going to end my turn. And at the beginning of the next exit step, I must exile all my elemental tokens. I, I, yep. I, surprisingly, I actually did not realize that that was a part of the effect until I actually started playing it, so this is going to get interesting. All right. Um, let's see here. I could... Hmm. All right, I think I will. Uh, so, let's see. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, and sacrifice my Yavit Minor Shepherd, and I will play Torgar Famine Incarnate. Holy shit. Okay, this guy is a seven drop. When he enters the battlefield, up to one target player's life total becomes half their starting life total, rounded down. Question, what is starting life total? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, starting life total would be t uh, would be 20, so one of us would go to 10, but I'm not going to use that ability. So you, up to one, oh, I see, up to one. See, they, they thought yeah. of everything. They're so clever, but you have a 7-6, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to swing at you with my steel leaf and my, sl and my slime foot. Volduk answers. He says, hey, I am going to block this pertinacious motherfucker right here. And right. the two so, is going to go unblocked. All right. So, uh, Steel Leaf and Valduk uh, trade and become deaded. And I am at six health. Mm, and with that, I will end. What you see, Mr. Gerdad, is that when the chips are down, we get chips ahoy. Holy shit. I'm going to put a forest down and then tap three. Tap three in order to cast Halar, the Fire Fletcher. Okay. It's a 3-3 three, three with Trample, and whenever I cast a spell that was kicked, he gets a plus one, plus one counter, and he deals damage equal to the number of plus one, plus one counters on it to each opponent. But I don't have any spells with Kicker, and you have a 7-6. So I am going to satisfy myself on just chalking this up to a bad top deck, and I'm going to swing at you after equipping my creature. Jousting Lance gives him plus two, plus zero, and it's my turn, so he has first strike. Elfame Druid is uh, you going don't to... Have mana for, to equip Jousting Lance. Jousting Lance is a three, and you've got two. What are you talking about? I just... No, because I just played a forest this turn. I got six lands, and I paid three to cast him, and then I used the remaining three to equip him with okay. the Jousting Lance. 
Okay, so there. I saw that you paid. Um, I saw that you paid for. Never mind. Uh, the problem is, do I really? But no, because Tar, because Torgar, because Torgar. That's why. Um, the problem is, if I don't go all in right now, I I don't even know if I'm going to have a chance to hit you. Except I do have another. T oh, okay. No, but you got one card in your hand. Oh boy. So my choices are: I have to either go ahead and end my turn, we're running the risk that you have removal, or I am going to equip my dude and just just die, basically, <laughs> because I won't be able to block your next attack. Um, I'm going to end my turn I, because I I have a good I have a good feeling I'm going to get a strong top deck. All right. And because it's not my turn, Howard does not have first strike. Mm, I but I am going to modify Spiron Sovereignus. And I'm gonna put down Atlanta War Elves, and then one, two. Oh, thank three, God! Three. It was just more mana. What the fuck? I will uh, generate. Uh, I will generate a sapling token off a of Slamefoot. No, no. <laughs> and I will attack with Torgar Famine Incarnate. And I will intercept under penalty of death. This guy right here, because he doesn't have trample right. for some reason. I think it's really fun a creature that big when I trample. Uh, Elfheim has been destroyed, and that ends my turn. Alrighty. Alright. Whew. What is my next card? God damn it. <laughs> and it's a... Oh, fuck me. Alright. I'm going to pay one. I'm going to attach my short sword onto Hala. Not not point at it, actually attach to it, because that is your destination. He is now a 6-4 with first strike right now. And I also am going to pay another 3 in order to cast Fight with Fire. Okay. Fight with Fire is going to deal 5 damage to Slimefoot. Alright then. And it's just too damn bad that I can't, I couldn't deal just one more point of damage in order to take out that 7 6 that's going to kill me. I'm going to swing into you with a 6 4 with first strike. Mm, Alright, um, I'll block with this sapling. Alright, and because Slimefoot is no longer on the battlefield, I don't lose life. So there. Your sapling is now and, dead. But, but I do. Uh, are you going to deal 5 damage to me? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's got Trample. Thank God for Trample. Yes, yes, I'm going to assign the remaining five damage to you directly. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. Um, and with that, I am probably dead, so I'm going to end my turn. But it's a nine-point game, which is better than a ten-point game, I guess. Mm. Oh, man. I got another Swamp. Okay, so... <laughs> um, I'm going to spend... Three and tap my memorial of folly and sacrifice it in order to return a, a slime foot sto uh, a slime foot the, the stowaway back to my hand. Beautiful. And then I will spend three in order to cast a slime foot the stowaway. And now I will swing at you with my seven six Torg uh, Torgar the uh, famine incarnate. And I cannot block it, so I am at minus one health. And do two state-based actions. I lose the game. Good game. Yay. Yay. Mm. All right, on to R2. All right, well, thanks to the magic of removal. See, I knew that removal was going to be a significant aspect because a lot of the creatures in this set in general have only one toughness. A lot of the more useful creatures also have one toughness involved somewhere. So I'm going to elect to go I'm first. Keep. And... I'm going to mulligan this hand. Okay. I am going to keep this hand. And I am going to start with a Timber Gorge. And in my turn. Okay, then. Let's see you survive this time. I'll play a Woodland Cemetery now. And I will end. Yes. The first turn advantage is going to stir the pad a little. I'm going to put a mound down and tap two mana in order to cast the Elfheim Druid. Okay. And I will end my turn. Mm, Alright. I'm going to put a forest down and I will end. 
All right. Y'all ready for some magic? Y'all ready for this? Varix Blade Wing. Fuck yeah. I couldn't kick him, though. The Elfame Druid could could have kicked an additional mana, but I didn't have the other two I need to pay the kicker, so he's just a legendary 4-4 flying. And I will end my turn.